Here at ABC 10, we take great pride in giving back to the community, and our company's Tegna Foundation does just that. The foundation is proud to fund nonprofit organizations and programs that promote and celebrate the diversity of the communities we serve. The grant recipient we are honoring today is the Food Literacy Center, and here to fill us in on their organization and all that they do is CEO and Chief Food Genius, Amber Stott, welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, Food Genius, this sounds so cool. First of all, tell me about the organization and what it is you guys do. Yeah, our mission is very simple. It's to inspire kids to eat their vegetables. And we do this by going into low-income schools. We work in Title I elementary schools, and we teach them cooking and nutrition. And this is really critical because we have high rates of chronic diseases that are preventable if kids can learn the habit early of eating their fruits and vegetables. Well, why is it important to have an organization like yours that, you know, goes and teaches the kids about nutrition and food, but particularly the vegetables? <laughs> exactly. You know, we, we think about brushing our teeth to prevent cavities, but we don't think about eating our fruits and vegetables to prevent a lot of these chronic diseases that we're seeing more um, rampant in our communities. And in fact, um, chronic disease, things like diabetes and obesity are the leading cause of death and disability in America right now. And the number one way to prevent them is by eating healthy fruits and vegetables. But this is something that we have to learn just the way we learn to brush our teeth. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to build up these habits. And when you're a little kid, it's really easy to develop good habits. So that's why we want to reach elementary age kids. Let's talk about some of the numbers. What are the stats as far as how many kids are actually eating veggies? Well, um, Fruits and veggies is better than veggies. Okay. Uh, fruits and veggies, about 25% of kids are eating fruits and vegetables. That's still way too low. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to vegetables, only 4% of our oh, kids are protecting their health by eating vegetables. Well, I have a couple little kids. It, it can be a challenge. You try to find creative ways to make it happen. Yeah. When we're talking about obesity, what's that looking like in this area? 40% of children in the Sacramento area are suffering from childhood obesity and overweight. Right, so that's a number we need to work on absolutely critical that we reach them early so that we can prevent that. When we're talking about um, eating healthy, is it going up or down when we're talking about the kids? The kids that we're serving, it's actually really easy to inspire kids to eat vegetables. They love their fruits and vegetables. Okay. They just don't have a lot of opportunity, especially the kids that we're serving are food insecure. And so they may be getting all of their meals in school. And so they do have salad bars in schools. And it's really critical that kids understand what's on those salad bars. One time we had a zucchini day at school <laughs> and um, the kids were coming up to us and they were saying, what's wrong with our cucumbers? Oh. Because they need this food literacy education. They need to understand and have tasting education where they're trying new fruits and vegetables and they're understanding what it is because then they're more enthusiastic about trying them. Right, and it helps that you're enthusiastic about teaching them. You actually bring the programs to the kids. Yes, yeah, we go into the school and we're kind of like a pop-up caterer, only the kids are doing the cooking. And so they have little plastic knives, they do all the chopping and the mixing and the stirring and the measuring. So they're learning to read, they're learning um, STEM, they're learning you know, about measuring and making an emulsion. And so we make it super fun and the kids fall in love with things like broccoli and cactus. Fun is the key. How can parents or students get involved if this is something they want to do? Well, um, you can go to our website at foodliteracycenter.org and check out the programs. All of our programs are free to the public, um, but they typically take place during an after school program. Well, I just want to say that we are thrilled, absolutely thrilled that you're going to be a recipient of this grant, $7,500. We're so thrilled. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I lost my mic. <laughs> um, how is this going to help you? Um, this is so critical because we do not charge for our programs. And so we provide them for free because these are low income schools and the recipients are high need. And so everything is free. And when we have a grant like yours, that means that we can keep providing these programs for more and more kids. So thank you so much. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Yeah, thank you. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.